Thank you, Rick. Great job, great job, guys, there, getting to know you better. I think we can all agree we really need three trophies today, right? Amen? Yeah. But we have one, and I have an envelope. And the winner of the 2019 Burlesworth Trophy from Michigan State, Kenny Willekes. and honored to stand before you today to accept this award. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank God for without him none of this would be possible. None of the skills and talents I would have, none of that would be possible. I'd also like to start off by thanking Marty for this opportunity, thanking uh, Vicki, the whole Burlesworth family for you know, making us feel welcome and uh, it really has been truly hospi hospitality this week. And I'd also like to say thank you to the Rotary Club for making this all happen. Without you guys it wouldn't be possible. Um, continuing on, uh, first off, I'd like to talk about Brandon. Uh, Brandon set the bar of what a walk-on should truly be. Uh, you know, he was a special person. Uh, being able to watch that movie last night truly opened my eyes to see what a special person he is. Not only was he a great football player on the field, but he was truly a great football player off the field. He truly impacted everyone else around him, and that is much bigger than the game of football. So to be able to carry on his legacy, I'm extremely thankful and grateful for that. Uh, I would like to recognize the two other finalists here with me, Ashton Davis and uh, Rodrigo Blankenship. Uh, it's been a privilege to get to know these two. Uh, I know, just like me, they put in the hours, they put in the work, and uh, they both had incredible careers. So to be joined here by you two is an honor as well. Uh, like I said, I grew up in a large family, uh, four boys, four girls. And uh, my parents, from beginning on, beginning early age, instilled into me the uh, you know, faith, hard work, and putting others before myself. Uh, my dad, like I said before, is a cardiothoracic surgeon, so he would spend hours at the hospital, whether he's flying out and harvesting lungs, harvesting hearts, and then he would come home and take care of me, take care of our, my seven siblings, and he always made sure to put us first, no matter how hard he was working. So I learned hard work from him. And then selflessness, I learned from my mother. She gave up uh, everything, all her dreams, everything she wanted to do in her life, she gave that up to stay at home and take care of eight kids and raise eight kids. So the, the one thing she always taught me is too much is given, much is expected. And that's something she always taught me on, to put others first, and I'm thankful for that. Uh, coming out of high school, I had zero Division I offers, like, like these men up here. Uh, never talked to a high school Division I coach. So for Coach D'Antonio to give me this opportunity, for him to give me a scholarship, Spring of my 2017, to, uh, spring of 2017, he gave me the scholarship in front of the team, and that's something I'll never forget. You know, my teammates cheering for me, and Coach D'Antonio giving me that opportunity. Uh, just speaking to what type of man he is, Coach D'Antonio took me into his office multiple times, freshman, sophomore year. Most head coaches don't even know who the walk-on is, but he would take me into his office and, you know, sit me down and talk to me about life and what it truly means to be a man. So for that, I'm forever grateful to him. Um, Throughout this journey, I've learned many life lessons. Uh, you know, many things, many people have impacted me. My grandparents, my beautiful grandparents are here today. I have plenty of family back home, coaches, plenty of people watching back home. So I'm thankful to them for watching. But the biggest thing I learned is to persevere through the hard times. You know, life's not always going to go the way you want it to. Uh, there's going to be ups and downs. It's going to be a roller coaster. But the most important thing is if you're able to bring a work ethic and bring a positive attitude each and every day, those are the two things that you can control. You will not only be great and accomplish many great things, but you also impact the people around you, and that is the most important thing. So uh, to me, being a walk-on is much more than football. It's about being a man in your daily life, whether you're a husband, a coach, a wife, a daughter. It's going the extra mile above and beyond in everything you do in life. And so I think being a walk-on is a mentality I feel like being a walk-on is a very special person. I'm surrounded by special people in this room. So thank you. I'm forever grateful, and it's an honor. <laughs> 